another vlog this week. Um, I'm gonna try to get some more interactive stuff, some stuff that I do with my family and just my everyday, day-to-day -day life. So first of all, welcome to the channel if you are new here. Hi, hello. On this channel, I pretty much just document my life as a mother. I am a military wife. We are stationed in Japan. Um, I have three beautiful children, so I just document my life. We do some lifestyle stuff, beauty stuff here and there. You know, a little bit of all the things. So if that's something that you're interested in, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. So look, today we're going to start off by cooking my infamous nachos. I want to show you um, how I cook my nachos. My husband loves them, and I just want to document it and just show you how I do it. Tonight is going to be a taco nacho type of night in our house. And yeah, so let's cook some dinner real quick tonight. And uh, let me know what you think in the comments. All right, let's go. Okay, you guys, while this is cooking, I do like to go ahead and add some garlic herb seasoning as well. And cook that along with the meat. And I let the meat brown, and once the meat gets really brown, I'll add the seasoning to it. Okay, so for the kids, um, Harley has nachos and burrito. Willow has quesadillas, a little bit of Doritos, and some avocado. Bubby has refried beans, some quesadillas, and some chips on the side. I mixed in his avocado into his beans because he won't eat it like how willow would eat it and harley doesn't like avocado at all to be honest so um so yeah we just kind of hid bubby's veggies in here so yeah that's the kids perfecto okay baby how how are your nachos baby what nachos all right that's it good morning beautiful so i just got back from Taking the girls to school. Well, Harley went to a field trip with Girl Scouts and Willow went to school. So I just got back, fed Bubby his breakfast, and now I'm going to eat my breakfast. Um, it is a Monday. Happy Monday. Happy Monday. So let me show you what I'm eating for breakfast. I decided to do um, a half a cup of strawberries or a cup of strawberry honey, a few strawberries, okay? Some salmon that I had left over that I need to eat up, some eggs, and then I got just some um, Dave Killebread's toast on the side. I might put some jam on it, I might not. But my stomach hasn't been feeling all that well, so I decided to kind of keep it clean and simple um, for breakfast this morning. So yeah, this is going to be breakfast. I'll probably just drink water, no coffee right now, and this is what we're gonna have for breakfast. My husband is off today, and so I'm just gonna do like a girl's, well not a girl's, cause clearly it's just me, girl. But, um, just like a mommy self-care day out. And so yeah, of course I have to take you with me in the streets of Japan, okay? Stay tuned, girl. All right, you guys, you know what time it is. It's sushi time. What's up, beautiful? So we are at the Sushi Go Round. Um, we have been to this one before, but this is our second time at this one. It's really good. So we have Bubby with us, and we're gonna see how he does. He's touching the conveyor belt. Anyways, we're gonna um, try to enjoy our meal. All right. Gotta start with some miso soup. That is for sure. Then you just order on the little tablet here. And they always give you hand wipes. When you first come in, you get a warm towel to wipe your hands. 
and then these cups here are for your water or your tea. This is water. Mizu. This container here holds ginger and that is green tea over here and soy sauce and like another sweet sauce like for eel and other sushi. And then this is a sauce tray and chopsticks. All right, let's get some ice cream. Sushi was delicious. And let me get some ice cream. Thank All right, you. arigato gozaimasu, thank you, bye. bye. All right, million dollar ice cream. Of course, I got matcha because that's my favorite. Yeah, so good. What's up, beautiful? So today, I am going to do a little bit of a self-care day. I was going to do it yesterday, but I got caught up in the woes of doing all the things for my family. So I just, plus I was really tired yesterday. I didn't want to do like a self-care day tired. You know what I mean? So I just pretty much ate dinner and went to sleep yesterday after I did ran some errands with my husband and my family. So today is my self-care day. It is midday. So, um, but that's okay. I'm going to go into the day, day spa. Um, I had to do some laundry earlier today. And honestly, having a clean home and cleanliness is a part of my sanity. You know what I mean? Like a self-care day is to help me with my... Uh, my body physically, emotionally, uh, mentally, and I feel like having a clean house and certain things being nice and tidy and clean, it really helps with, um, you know, my sanity and my mood in general. So I just needed to knock those, that laundry out because it had been, a <laughs> listen, it was piling up. It had been a few days that I had been putting it off. And so I'm like, you know what? I don't want to come back home after a nice long self-care time at the spa to dirty laundry or to dirty bed linen. I want to come home to fresh, clean bed linen. Um, Cause that's what I really had to wash. Um, I can wash, you know, clothes throughout the week here and there, but my bed linen, is really bulky so I have to take that to the base to the big large washers so anyways I did that that's nice and clean and ready for me whenever I return home from the day spa today I can return home to some nice clean fresh sheets and go to bed so I'm about to go into the day spa and I'll just kind of hang out here for a few hours I'm gonna eat dinner here um, and just relax you know so yeah Anyways, come along with me. You know the drill. All right, beautiful. So I just changed into my spa outfit. They give you um, these outfits whenever you pay for the hot stones. Um, I think that was an additional like 650 yen. So not a lot of money at all. Uh, entry fee was, I think, 13.60. So yeah, it's not expensive to come to the day spa. Um, if you want to get a massage, of course, that's extra. Um, but first things first, I need to get some food. Hi, hi, hi. So, yeah, listen, first things first, we got to get some food. After we eat, um, I'll do like the hot stones, spa, saunas, and all that. And once my food digests, 
and um, just relax and chill. So yeah, let's get into this food. So the first thing that I got, of course, is tuna. I love tuna. You guys I had sushi yesterday, but to be honest, I could eat sushi every single day. The view is amazing. It's right here by the water. It's a little cloudy and overcast today, but you know, it is what it is. It's right here by the water, so this is the view. Um, so we have some tuna, sushi, and I think this is arigato gozaimasu. Arigato gozaimasu. Oh, I didn't realize that it came with miso soup, but we have miso soup. And I also got ramen. Ooh. Yes, these two things I can eat every single day every day. So yeah, let's get into this food. Okay, so this is the sauna. We have the red hot stone sauna. Um, you have the cave, and these are heated floors. Um, this is like a little library nook, and then you can also go outside. Um, but these are all relaxing chairs where you can just completely recline and take a nap. Um, this is also a sauna. You lay back on the floor here, and everything is heated. And then this is the cool sauna. It fills the room up. And then this one is, I'm sorry, this one is the cold sauna. That's the cold sauna. And this one is a mist sauna. So yeah, so let's go inside. So I look really crazy right now. My eyebrows are completely gone. <laughs> I have sweated them off. Oh, I went into the hot sauna and then I did the cold sauna um, and then I did the cave. So right now I'm just going to have some ice cream to kind of cool down and they have a um, misting uh, attraction at 6 30 that I'm going to do and I think that is hot as well so um, I'm going to do that at 6 30 and then after 6 30 I'll probably just I don't think I'm going to take a nap I'll just sleep when I get home really really well so yeah this ice cream is so good I get it every single time I come here so my sweet tooth is already kicked in so let's eat some ice cream it is quite literally my weakness <laughs> but you'll see why this is it you guys ah does not that look amazing it is amazing <laughs> you guys i am back in here eating because after you do the saunas you lose so much like sweat and toxins out of your body you get hungry really fast so it's currently um, 8.55. So the first time I had like a late lunch, it was like 3.30. And then I came back for the dessert about like five. And so now I'm like really hungry. Um, actually the dessert was, yeah. It was like 5.30 or six. Um, I had the dessert, but now I'm like really hungry and so I want some rice and I want some fish So I'm gonna do probably Fried fish and rice or either eel and rice. I don't know, but let's eat dinner All right, you guys, so this is dinner. I decided to go with the mackerel fish. It's a dried fried fish mackerel and um, it comes with miso soup some pickles and white rice. Hello. 
little garnish of lemon and I think this is either ginger, I mean not ginger, I'm sorry. I think this is radish. Actually, I think it's radish, yeah. So that's dinner. Let's get into it, guys. Good morning, beautiful. So we are about to head to our tactic class. I feel very rested, but at the same time tired. So I have, I don't know if that's possible, but yeah, I feel rested, but I still am kind of tired. I have a Georgia coffee. I got this from the vending machine. Um, they have cold brew coffee in the vending machine. So we're gonna drink a little bit of that before the workout, try to get some caffeine in our system and get to this workout um i haven't worked out in about a week because i was not feeling well last week um i don't know i was having some stomach issues it could be due to a little bit of stress um a little bit of nervousness because my husband may be going underway soon so um i'm not looking forward to that because that's going to be for a couple months so i think just some nerves in my stomach probably I don't know I don't know if it was something I ate I don't know if it was stress I don't know what it was but it had me down for a few days and um I just kind of shook it like the last couple days but anywho here we are we're back on it we're back at it the diet has been trash um I'm bloated it's a mess girl so we're gonna try to get our life together come on of that I did 20 pounds uh, 40 pounds total overhead for 200 meters and um, that was crazy but the workout was is done um, it's Monday that's the thing with um, wait it's not Monday it's Wednesday girl that goes to show you where my mind is it's Wednesday but it's my first day back um, to working out so I'm gonna try to work out Wednesday Thursday Friday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday I'm gonna try to get four days in this week that's my goal um, but yeah all right I'm gonna go clean up my weight and get this workout equipment uh, cleaned up all right all right, you guys, we just gonna get some lunch real quick. We got some fried fish, white rice, miso soup. Um, I forgot what this is called. And some ginger, and I'm with my favorite lunch partner. <laughs> my amazing husband. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and eat some lunch and tear this up, post my workout. Good morning, beautiful. So today, we have a full day today. Um, we're gonna work out today for the second time. And also we have to take baby Tony to a audition in Tokyo. And um, hopefully, that's at 3 p.m. Hopefully we can get back before dinner so it can make dinner for the kids. Um, but yeah, so that's what we have on the agenda today. And of course, you're coming along. So let's go. What's up, beautiful? So today we are doing some deadlifts. We are back at Tat Fit. This is day two for this week. So yeah, we just did our warm up. I'll show you our warm up. I didn't record the warm up, but um, it's pretty. It was pretty simple. Um, next time I'll record the warm up, but I will show you the deadlifts that I'm doing and the weight that I'm doing. It's not a lot of weight. Here, let's go take a look at the weight. So for so for my weight, I have a 35 pound bar and I have 
uh, 10 kilos on each side, which is about 22 pounds on each side. So that's 44 pounds plus 35. That's 79, I believe. <laughs> and uh, y'all know my girl math, but I think it's 79 pounds. And the RX is to do like, you know, like 60 to 75% of your one rep max. So this is what we did for the warm up. We did a 400 meter run. We did 10 bootstrappers, 10 deadlifts, 10 glute bridges with the bar, um, 10 marches, marches with the band, 10 get good morning, and four broad jumps. And we did that three times. And so for the wide, it's gonna be a deadlift, um, dead stop deadlift. And we're gonna do four sets of eight. And then at the very bottom, she usually puts our accessory work here um, at the very bottom. And that's gonna be some kettlebell swings. And we're gonna do 75 of those four times. All right, let's get to it. to baby tony's audition um it's in tokyo so it's going to take us almost two hours to get there but we're riding the train and it's pretty relaxing when you ride the train in japan you know so all right see you soon We just have to walk across the street. Is that the same location that the Uniqlo um, audition was at? In which he didn't get from the last vlog. He didn't get that one, but that's okay. I'm praying that he gets this audition. Um, but you know, with, with, with our kids, if they get the audition, they get it. You know, it's no big deal. Um, if they don't get it, they don't get it. You know, it's no big deal. So anyways but you know if they get it it's fun but they've gotten so many you know to create the memories that we want to create with these experiences with the modeling in Japan there's no pressure you know if they don't get it but um but we're praying that he does <laughs> we're praying that he gets it and yeah so this is the building that building right here we're gonna have to walk to and the thing about Japan is listen there's a lot of walking one thing about it if you come to Japan bring your walking shoes because you're going to be walking you can ride public transportation all you want but baby you will be walking bring your walking shoes bring your flats bring whatever you need to bring to get your pit and pat on okay <laughs> all right so we'll see you guys when we get inside the building. Say hello. Yes. Tony is running around this place. He will not stop. He is such a little busybody right now. Just running around. Oh. <laughs> okay, one more time, go. What's up, beautiful? Well, that went crazy. Um, Tony did not want to, he didn't want to smile, he didn't want to stand by himself. He almost started crying, so I kind of like sat him in my lap. But what I believe they're looking for is for kids to have the temperament that can shoot, obviously without the parents having to intervene. Um, 
that's just my assumptions. Like, I, obviously, I'm not sure what they're looking for. I don't know if they'll look past his temperament today and just kind of be like, okay, you know, he is, obviously, he is a toddler. I'm trying to find out where I'm going. Um, you know, he is a toddler, and we had to wait like an hour and a half for this audition, which is... We never have waited this long for an audition. So he was restless. He wasn't tired because he took a nap coming here. But by the time we got in there, he was, it just seemed like he was over it. So I don't know how that's gonna go. I don't know if he's gonna get it or not. In my opinion, if they give it to him, they wanted him from the beginning. Um. We saw some familiar faces in there from Unique Glow, some of the other agents that work with Unique Glow. But again, they're familiar with Tony. But lately, he's been very temperamental. And I doubt that they're gonna want to shoot him. But if they decide to shoot him, that's because the job was for him. And um, if they don't, then it wasn't for him. So, I'm tired at this point. Sometimes these auditions really take a lot of energy and a lot of work out of me. Which is why Tony and I, we, uh, Tony and I, we traded off today. He went and got the girls and I brought Tony by myself. Because it just takes a lot of energy to try to wrangle the kids. Especially at this time of the day when they have been to school, you know, they're This is like dinner time. It's just a really weird time to have an audition But we're about to hop back on the train. Well, we have to ride the bus first And then I have to hop back on the train But before I do that, I'm gonna get me some food because I'm starving. I'm weak Baby, you don't know do to me between me and you i feel a chemistry i won't let no one come and take your place cause the love you give you can't be replaced so go now and what you do that's why i'm fine my love for you i won't please you anywhere i can i won't share my world don't you understand left Empire Steakhouse and it was delicious okay absolutely delicious we enjoyed our meal right now we're in the taxi we're about to go to um what's the lounge are we going to supernova cigar bar okay so yeah so we're gonna do that and then that's where we're gonna end up and wrap up our night but um yeah this has been a great date night so far in we're in Tokyo and Tokyo is always a vibe for us. We love it. So yeah. All right, beautiful. We'll see you later. Baby say bye to the beauties. All right, beautifuls. I see y'all. <laughs> <laughs> You know, we have to stop by Starbucks on a Saturday. It was a Saturday morning without Starbucks. All right, so we have a very simple day planned today. Uh, we just have to do some shopping for Tony's underway. That's coming up really soon. And we're going to go to a festival that's near our house. It's a Japanese festival. I forgot the name of it. They call it something, but I forgot the name of it. I'll put it here on the screen if I remember. Um, but we'll probably do that and take the kids there a little bit later. Other than that, we're just gonna chill today and wrap up the vlogs. So I got a new 
the vegan mushroom keema curry hot tortilla it looks really good actually and i also got a double chocolate chip frappuccino with oat milk i'm good with the whipped cream on top but yeah that's what i got the vlog make sure you subscribe to the channel give this video a thumbs up um, leave me some comments down below in the description bar let me know what you um, think of the vlog and yeah I'll see you next time bye beautifuls